Following the rise of teenage pregnancy in Homa Bay County, women leadership of the county have taken an initiative of visiting learning facilities and offering motivational talks and sanitary pads to keep the girl child in school as an intervention to early pregnancy. Here is James Latano with the details. Homa Bay County still struggles with a teenage pregnancy which has hit 33.3% ranking the Lakeside County second to Narok nationally, according to the District Health Information Systems, DHIS. Ladies and gentlemen, teenage pregnancies has been uh, talked about by other colleagues. It's another vice which has constantly given our county negative publicity. The girl-child pregnancy in Homa Bay County is attributed to the fast-growing border border industry who are said to be luring the girls with simple gifts. Without us as adults sitting down and thinking through how we are going to take care of our girls, I think we may uh, in the near future find out that all our girls will not be able to perform at the levels that we want them to perform. And the only way we can deter this uh, menace is to make sure that the parents are very, become very close to their children. Homa Bay County First Lady Rusila Awiti began the education calendar by visiting schools and giving lecture talks to the girl child as one of the fundamental interventions to the girl child menace. I've been carrying out advocacy trainings for both boys and girls and we had our second uh, youth advocacy training or meeting on teenage pregnancy last December. It was a two-day workshop with the youth from all over the county. And at this youth advocacy training, we cover life skills. With such interventions, the women leadership from Homa Bay County believe that this is a second chance to redeem the lost glory of the girl child in this county. Reporting for Citizen Television from Homa Bay County, 